Hello, this is Moon and I have a quite special lock today. This is an Avos XP1 with a really crazy keyway. Uh, I have a couple of them and to be honest that's the easiest one that I have. Um, it has quite mild beating for those. For the ones that have um, low lift pins in the middle somewhere and pretty much cannot be touched. It's really tricky to get to the rear ones. Uh, this specific one though, it is just five pin because it's a short cylinder. So this first cut pretty much doesn't do anything. So the effective bidding is, come on domain, like this. So there is just um, one pin that needs to be lifted by a lot and four others just a little, but there is no real overset issue. Still getting through that keyway is quite challenging and I'm quite happy that I'm able to do that now. So let's see, I hope so anyways. Let's try it now. I will be using a short hook and pretty much using it as a flag. So let's get going. That's pin number one. Click in a core rotation. Two, this doesn't want to do anything yet. Three, springy. Four, springy. I hope I didn't overset anything yet. And the five, let's see. Uh, small click, maybe something dropped, maybe it was five. Let's start again. One feels good. Two, I think now two is set. One is still good. Now three, click out of three, four, click there. Small click four. I might have overset something. Two is good. Three is up again. Let's see. Or is it springy? Let's release tension a little and see if it helps. Oh, now I have a full set. And number five is binding. Click there. Four click. Full set again. Three. Two feels good. And one feels good. Let's try them all again. I think number five is binding again. is good, two is good, three, click out of three, now it's four, it's not five, four, it's a spool and we got an open. Nice, I'm quite happy to have it on camera. Now let's cut and see what's inside. Here is the other half and let's get this one gutted.
Let me get the key. Follower. Ah. Those are the balls for the passive pins. Apparently, I mixed up the side. And here is the last one. One is still inside. Okay. Now I hope I will not lose anything more. One, two, three, four, and five. And four passive pins. The core. Nothing special in here. I know the lighting is not perfect. But... Nothing in here. Um, and let's get the drivers out. First is standard. Then there comes spools, which is always the case for those locks for the ones that I opened anyways. And the last one is serrated. That actually gives some information about what feedback to expect. The springs are all the same, so yeah, well, I can dump them too. And here are the key from both perspectives. And that's pretty much it. One more thing I want to show is what helped me quite a lot is uh, learning how to find the pick position. Those, the chambers, they're actually uh, not flush with this right face but they go in it. Um, I will probably be not, will not be able to show it, but the pick, you see maybe, you can find those indentations quite well and that helps with the pick alignment a lot. So being able to find where you are in that keyway, it, it's really important. So yeah, that's Abus XP1 picked and got it. I hope you liked it. Thank you for watching.